Hi YouTube, my name is Mimi and this is going to be a book review on this book, Snow Sisters, by Tom Wal Walensky and Jen Sternick. Sternick. I met these lovely people at BookCon today, Saturday, and they were so sweet. They were so very sweet telling me about their company and this book and that they were friends since high school and now write books together and I'm just like, fuck yeah, I'll write your goals. Uh, this is an adorable book in the non-spoilery part, uh, about, I'll just read the back of the book, it's a lot easier. Um, high school student, Soph, who attends private school in Manhattan, and Tess, a public school student who lives on a dairy farm in New Hampshire, are thrown together as roommates at a week-long writing conference. As they get to know each other and the other young women, both Soph and Tess, discover unexpected truths about friendship, their craft, and how to hold fast to their convictions while opening their hearts to love. It's adorable. They didn't have to pitch me very hard on this one. They were just so, so sweet. So, so very sweet. And in the little thing, the little thing in the book they signed for me, they thanked me for reading this book and hope I like it. And I did. I loved this. This was very, this was a cute, happy Sunday read that was enlightening and I'm thrilled it exists. It's just such a pleasant book about a bunch of young girls that go to a writer's treat and in new hampshire and it's just very it's just so so very cute called minerva it's like it's a little it's, it's so very cute um one of my favorite passages from this this is a much shorter view than i i uh, well i'm hopefully gonna make this a little bit longer but anyway one of my favorite passages from it is actually towards the end of the book it's not a spoiler just a very cute speech of sorts and i will try to read it slowly to enunciate oh my friends i can tell you from a long career that as a woman you'll be subject to unfair judgments based on your bodies. Those judgments are hard on the psyche. They distract us from what we want to do. They demean our work by promoting the irrelevant. I urge you to refrain from judging each, judging each other. As you go out into, the, out into the world, you will face real attacks on your safety. Please don't add to the attacks on your own friends and colleagues. Support your differences and accept them. Celebrate them. Hold on to each, each other. Find ways to build trust with one another. Women need each other's support. You may not understand that now, but I promise one day you will. I was like, oh man, that, that, it was just, it was, this book is just, it's very sweet, it's very sweet, I'm so happy I bought it, I, it just, it was a, I'm 25, this book is teens, it's like probably 14, 14 up, it's young adult, and it's, yeah, 14 up, it's, it's, it deals with a bunch of 24 girls at a writing retreat for a week, and none of them, they all are talented writers, they're all from different parts of the states, and uh, it just, it's just very sweet watching a group of girls come there as writers. I'm a writer, I'm a reader, hence book con, and it just, it, you can tell that these Tom and Jen were fucking nerds, and they were, <laughs> I mean this in the fondest way possible, I am a fucking nerd myself, I'm trying not to run videos, but you know, it happens, I do it on book blah, book babble with Jeremy, I will do it on my own here um you you can just tell when something is personal to the writers and they put it onto the page on the computer whatever they're writing with and it just it feels very real and i i loved this book it felt very real it was very sweet watching different point of views clash watching them come together and try to understand it watching them grow in this book it's a short book i'm reading a couple longer books right now this is 245 pages and it's a lot happens in this week retreat and it's written very well it's very believable and it's i'm happy this exists and that people younger than me will get to read this book now and see themselves hopefully see themselves and feel okay and feel they're accepted and it was very sweet reading this book and seeing different point of views clash i'm a new york girl and it was it but i have friends that aren't from new york and it's cool and refreshing to see things in different point of views come out to play in an adorable book. And sorry, this is more of a tangent than a review, but I, I love this book. And Snow Sisters by Tom Walensky and Jen Sternick is a great book. And I'm so very happy that I bought it and met these lovely people. And I think if you watch this video, you should go check it out. Snow Sisters by Tom Walensky and Jen Sternick is an awesome read and beautiful to read on like a hot summer day, any anytime really. It's It was fun reading a book taking place in the February while well, it's now June, June 2nd. It's fucking hot. <laughs> it's 86 degrees right now in New York, so just bonus fact, fun reading a summer winter book in the summer. Do it. It's very, it's such a sweet book. Totally give this book like five stars. I was very, 
wrapped up in it. Five out of five in case they're paying attention to ratings. But it was it was very sweet. I I didn't see any typos. I didn't see any grammatical issues. Uh, don't let sorry cars. Don't let my stub stumbling on the quote discard you. This is a beautifully written book. I just don't read out aloud because <laughs> I'm not in school anymore. I'm done. I have my degree. Uh, and I don't really read out, al out, out loud a lot. Anyway, thank you for reading. Please go check out this book. I'm going to put a link in the description for this book where I will find where, like, if it's Amazon, if it's on their preferred website, probably on their website. But yeah, go, go check it out. Anyway, bye.